Hey, my name is Al, and today we're not even going to get into Maya, but don't click off. I promise you this will help you if you're a new modeler, whether it's Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya. This is an AR-15, and too often I see students make this mistake. They pick an area to start, like let's stay right here at the back. They'll drop in a cube, and they'll drop in an edge loop right here. To work on that buttstock, extrude. Nothing wrong with this yet. Okay, we're blocking out the shape, nothing wrong with that. And then they take this face and then they will extrude. Maybe something like that. With my poor drawing skills. And then drop in edge loops. If you're an intermediate modeler, hopefully by now you can already tell what's wrong. They take this face, they extrude. I've seen students with this tendency just to make every single component of whether it's a car, a weapon, it doesn't matter, out of one piece. And that can be a nightmare to make this all out of one cube, meaning selecting faces, extruding, and just manipulating points that way. The second thing that I've seen students do is drop in one big cube and then literally like add divisions on this cube throughout the whole thing something like that except many many more and then they just take these points and then move them into position so from one angle it, it basically will get the outline of the whole thing and these these are just not the best ways to work a better approach whether you can find whatever you're trying to model in real life or it's a fantasy something that doesn't exist you should probably think about how it was manufactured so this firearm for instance we've got different components we've got we've got a butt stock that consists of this. We actually have a buffer tube that sits inside of here. That's less important because we can't really see it. We've got a grip. We've got a trigger. We've got our bolt release, hold down sights right here. We've got some sort of optic, this vertical foregrip, magazine, on and on and on. There are many different pieces and this firearm was not manufactured all in one piece. It's a culmination of many, many different pieces and parts put together. What that means for you is I would pick a good spot and then model it just entirely separately. What I want you to think about is how it was manufactured, what pieces were all made together, what pieces were made separate. So for example, this buttstock was not made in one piece. There's many different pieces for this buttstock. We could drop in a cube. We could drop in a cylinder right here for this section. And honestly, this kind of green tan part was made in one piece. This is separate. There's different pins and stuff in here. But for simplicity's sake, I would make this a cylinder and then come in here, add this shape add my edge loops. We could union these together, add this one separate. But this is going to make your life so much easier if you break up whatever it is you're trying to make into multiple pieces. So instead of looking at this AR-15 as one giant, puzzle. It's more like a whole bunch of very small puzzles and it makes the task of modeling this so much easier. You can say, yeah, I'm just going to focus on this optic right now. What consists of this? Okay. There's a bolt right here and a nut. There's some sort of base plate that's connected in several different pieces. We've got these dials. We have a cylinder tube. We also have this end cap. We can break down the giant puzzle into many smaller puzzles. It's easier to swallow. It's like the old saying, how do you eat an elephant? Well, one bite at a time, right? You don't eat the whole elephant. So stop trying to model the whole thing out of one cube. And hopefully this gives you a different way to think about it if you're new to modeling.